Hello, welcome to the OPSIF Emerald AI integration tutorial video. I'm going to take uh, you step by step through the entire process, which is starting with uh, downloading the integration package and creating a new project, installing both OPSIF and Emerald AI, and performing all the steps necessary to get the integration to work. So, first thing we do is we come to the magicproductions.com website. And we go to Unity Assets, and down here we have the Opsif Emerald Integration Package. I'm going to click on that to download that. All right, so that's downloaded. If I show that in the folder, ah, there it is at the top. Opsif Emerald AI integration package. Okay, so now what we'll do is go ahead and open Unity Hub and we'll create a new project. For this example, we're going to use 2020.323F1 and call this Opsif Emerald Tutorial. Since some of these processes do take some time, uh, I will edit the video so that it will skip ahead past some of the lengthy processes. Okay, now we have our project created from scratch. Now we go to Windows, Package Manager, and we're going to select the OPSIF package to install. And I'm using the 2.4.5 third-person controller. We'll import that. We go to Tools, Opsif, Installer. Everything looks good. Clean Install. Click Install. Okay, the installation is complete and there's some basic setup uh, required for Opsif. So we're going to do the project setup, update buttons and layers, update buttons, and update layers. I think it actually did it when you just click the first button, but that shouldn't be a problem. Alright, close this out. Now Opsif should be ready to go. Alright, all looks good. Alright, so next step will be go back to the package manager. Now we're going to install Emerald AI latest version. 3.0 which is 3.1.1, import that. All right, that's complete. Close that. Next step will be to import the integration package. So we'll go to import package, custom package. We're going to go to the downloads where we downloaded the Emerald integration package. Open that. You notice if you have installed this before, it used to be under a lifelink folder. I've changed this to Soul Link because that is the new brand. So if you do have a, an older install and you're not doing a fresh install, you want to remove your old lifelink directory. So we'll import this. All right, now we have everything we need. So following the integration guide, what we want to do is uh, modify our AI so that they have the right tags and layers and detection. So let's find, I believe there's one called Chomp, Chomper or something, Chomper Mealy, this one here. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the scene. 
then we'll edit it in there. Okay, so uh, by the directions, we want to change the layer to enemy. It defaults to this weird respawn in water. I have no idea why. No, we do not want to change children. And the tag, there really isn't a, a tag. So we'll create one. I like to call it Emerald AI. We'll set that to Emerald AI. Now we go to Detections and Tags. And Tag Options. And again, go ahead and just change these to what they should be. Emerald AI and Enemy. Make sure we get rid of the extra one. Oh, I'm sorry, this is the Detection layer. I want to change this to Character. Sorry about that. So you've got the Unity tag, Emerald AI, the detection layer to character, which is the what the uh, opposite character will be set to. All right, I'm going to apply the changes to this AI. So it's, oops, I do have to do one more thing. We need to attach the opposite bridge script. Now we'll apply the changes. So now we should be able to put multiple chomper melees in this room. All right. Next step, we'll go ahead and update the damage player script. So Emerald, so let's look for Emerald AI player damage. Open that script. Now just to show you what I'm doing here, I'm actually in the integration script. I've highlighted this damage opposite player and copied. Did a control C and I'm gonna go ahead and put that in here. Only problem is this because it's it crosses pages, it does this little you get this page two or three stuck in here. Make sure you clean that up when you paste that in there. So we have the function. And back to the integration guide. And we want to add the this code in the send player damage function. So I copy that. I go ahead and paste it in here. You can leave this old standard one in there if you want. It doesn't hurt anything, or you can remove it depending upon your needs. Okay, also back to the integration guide. We do need to make some changes to Emerald AI so it doesn't attack a dead ops of character. So we'll copy this code. Sorry. Come on, highlight. There we go. And we're going to go to the Emerald AI Events Manager script. So let's find that. Okay. And we're looking for the set combat target function. All right, there it is, and we're going to just paste this right at the top of this function. Save that. And then we have to copy this snippet of code and go to the Emerald AI detection script. And we need to find the set detected target function. Here it is. And we'll paste that at the top. Okay. It's recompiling. All right, what do we have next? In the final steps, we need to make sure the opposite character has dire ragdoll ability. I believe this default one, Nolan, already does. Uh, so then we're going to go to the opposite character hierarchy, find the capsule collider, and we're going to set that layer, set tag to player and layer to character. So we have Nolan, 
colliders, capsule collider. It's already set to layer character, which is good. We just need to change this to player tag. All right. And it looks like that's everything. Now, this should work. So we're going to go ahead and run. We do maximize on play so we can see this better. All right, we're going to pick up the sword. And the character monsters are coming up to attack, and they're attacking. And I can kill them. And that's it. There's one more left. Looks like we have a successful clean install, clean integration. Thanks for watching.